Hi guys and welcome to a massive book haul. Oh my god, it's way too heavy to hold. Wait, hold on. So hi, it's been um, <laughs> a year, I think. <laughs> it's been a while since I uploaded on this channel. Um, sorry about that. If you want to know why, it's mostly health issues. And I actually have another channel, it's called Nora's World. And I kind of explain a little bit what's going on there, but I haven't uploaded there in a while either. <laughs> Basically, if you're interested, I'll make a video about it. But today, let's dive into my wonderful book haul. Okay, so these are actually mostly books that I got for Christmas. And I meant to actually make a video, but <laughs> I didn't. But here we are, so let's get started. The first book, Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. It's uh, Nevermore the Trials of Morgan Crow and I love it. I'm reading it right now and um, I just, I love it. I love the fancy, I love the way it's written, I love the character so far. There's one character in this book that reminds me so much of the Doctor. Like if you're a Doctor Who fan and you like the more silly Doctors, you need to read this. It reminds me so much of Matt Smith as the Doctor basically. <laughs> it's about this girl Morgan Crow, who's cursed and she knows that she's gonna die when she's 11 and then uh, the day she's about to die she gets whisked away to go to a different world basically almost and um, complete trials to go into the Wonder Society. I'm not really sure what it is yet but she has to complete trials to basically join a society and stay alive. <laughs> And so far, it's really good. Then we have The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Um, it says underneath it, impossible to put down. And I have to agree, it's really good. And I read it in like two sittings, I think. It's about uh, this girl that's left as a baby in a forest. She's found by a witch who feeds her starlight and moonlight so that she becomes enmagicked. And then she gets to stay with the witch. And it's such a good book. It's really full of imagination and fancy and it's it's amazing it's really good and I definitely recommend it i'll be sure to also make separate videos if i can if you want them leave a comment down below about these books in more detail then we have the magisterium the bronze key by holly black and cassandra claire it's actually a really thin book um this is book three in the series i have book one and two i'm gonna reread them and then read this one and then hopefully have enough money to buy the fourth book in the series um it's really good it's basically about this kid who gets invited to join a magical school but he's been told his entire life that magic is evil and I should stay away from it so he tries to fail the entrance exams but still like he fails to fail so he gets accepted into the school and it's really good then we have Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas so you probably know this series don't you Throne of Glass series it's one of my favorite series I read it all last year like I started rereading it and then I like finished it because I have a few books I haven't read yet and I thought that the last book was going to be the last book so no there's another i think this is actually the last in the series it's the conclusion of the series so i'm kind of wondering if i'm gonna reread the entire series again or maybe just the last book and then read this one i'm not sure yet um but the cover is beautiful and I can't wait to read it. Then we have The Toy Makers by Robert Dinsdale. And I have so many feelings about this book. Um, I already finished it in two days. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's um, basically about this magical emporium, wonderful toy shop where magic is real and dreams come true. And um, it's... Okay, I don't want to say too much, but basically it's a book filled with like the joys and magic of childhood and it's wonderful and amazing, but there's also like some really dark stuff in here. It's definitely not a children's book. And yeah, it, it makes you laugh, it makes you cry. It's it's really good. Then we have Two Dark Rains by Kendra Blake. <laughs> and this is the third book in the one, no, three dark crown series i think it's like three dark crowns one dark throne and now two dark reigns 
and I've read the first two books, they're amazing and I can't wait to read this one as well. Basically it's about these three princesses who um, are born like every so many years, three princesses are born and they need to fight for the throne. So two of them need to die and one of them gets the throne and it's so good. Can't wait to read this one. Now we have Princess in Practice, that really suits my aesthetic right now. Um, <laughs> by Connie Glynn and um, I love the first book. This is the second book in the series. Uh, the first book is On the Cover Princess. Uh, I'm gonna reread that and then read this series. It's basically about this girl who, who lives her life with like what would a princess do? She lives her life as though she's a princess and then she gets to um, this like really prestigious academy that you really want to get into and oh, actually I can't really say too much without spoiling everything it's just it's really cute it's really good it's just a really fun light read and if you like princesses and badass females then it's the book for you okay then last but certainly not least Skyward by Brenda Sanderson I can't wait to read this book um actually I didn't know it was coming. <laughs> I'm a huge Brendan Sanderson fan. He's actually my favorite author of all time. I've read a lot of his books, but not all of his books yet. Um, yeah. And normally I, I like, I anticipate the releases so much. And this one was just, I was looking at books to ask for Christmas. I was like, wait, there's a new Brendan Sanderson book. <laughs> How did I not know this? Um, the cover is gorgeous, by the way. It has kind of like 20 style and then destruction. <laughs> I actually don't really know what it's about other than it's sci-fi and there's a war and the girl wants to become a pilot. <laughs> That's like literally all I know. Um, I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna make like a review of the book and tell you if it was any good. It's gonna be good because Brandon Sanderson. But yeah, can't wait. So those were the books that I got for Christmas. Um, I actually I've been really good. I haven't bought too many books the last few months and these are all got except for one actually one of them I bought myself I think but yeah I have a gigantic wish list of books that I still want because <laughs> I've been emerging myself into booktube again I really want to make more videos for my booktube channel and watch more booktube videos I kind of got disconnected from the whole world for a while there and I want to get back into it but it does mean that I get so many book recommendations that my like want to buy list is gigantic at the moment uh, so yeah I need to be careful about that and not spend all my money <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment have you read any of these books or any of these on your to read or to buy or wish list let me know and I will see you soon with another video bye